Hi, and welcome to Focal Point on Free for All Friday. We'll expand kind of the parameters of what we'll talk about today. I do want to tell you, uh, this this segment, we are going to talk about the, the campaign. And so we'd particularly like to take calls, the second half of this segment, on the, the campaign. Kind of what you're seeing, what you're observing. We're going to play some sound bites, give you some content about that. And then we'd love to take your calls in the second half of this segment uh, on the campaign, the presidential campaign, 888-589-8840 is the number to call. Now, I want to start with a sound bite. This is just audio, so if you're watching on television or you're watching on video streaming, AFR.net, uh, you're not going to be able to see this, but you can hear Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is out there campaigning for Barack Obama. And I'm telling you, I think Bill Clinton is out there. Uh, you know, Tucker Carlson said, look what... Chris Christie was doing yesterday by saying such wonderful things about Barack Obama was sticking the shiv into Mitt Romney. He doesn't like Mitt Romney. He wants to be president in 2016. So he's sticking the shiv in to Mitt Romney by praising Obama right before the election. So Romney will lose and he can be the front runner in 2016. That's a bit of a stretch for me, but that's what Tucker Carlson uh, is saying. But what Barack Obama, I mean, what Bill Clinton is doing, he's out there and I think he is actively sabotaging the Obama campaign. Remember, he was out there telling everybody, hey, Barack Obama told me, hey, that Jeep ad that Mitt Romney ran, that really hurt my feelings. Like he's a little kid, like he's thin-skinned, like he runs around feeling sorry for himself. You couldn't have painted a more weak and ineffectual picture of Barack Obama than Bill Clinton himself did. Now, here's Bill Clinton out there campaigning. I don't know if this is yesterday, today, but, you know, listen to what Bill Clinton has to say in this soundbite. Let's listen. I hear all these people say, oh, I was so enthusiastic four years ago. I had so much hope for change. And I'm disappointed in this, that, and the other thing. Let me tell you something. I may be the only person in America, but I am far more enthusiastic about President Obama this time than I was four years ago. So that's uh, Bill Clinton saying, I am, I may be the, (laughs) I can't believe it. This is supposed to be a guy that's campaigning for him. I may be the only person in America that's more enthused about Barack Obama now than I was uh, four years ago. Talk about sticking the shiv in and uh, turning it. Now, let's go to clip number five. This is Barack Obama himself. He's out there. And what he says here, this really, to me, is a pretty scary thing when you listen to what Barack Obama is saying. Let's listen. We've made real progress these past four years. But Wisconsin, we know our work's not done yet. Governor Romney has been using all his talents as a salesman to dress up these very same policies that failed our country so badly. The very same policies we've been cleaning up after for the past four years. And he is offering them them up as change. He's, He's saying he's the candidate of change. Well, let me tell you, Wisconsin, we know what change looks like. And what the governor's offering sure ain't change. We know what change looks like. And he said, look, we've made progress. And I think the average American saying, what progress? The, the, we'll, we'll talk about the economy in this jobs report a little bit later. But the genuine unemployment rate is 14.7%. How does that represent progress? You know, Rick Santelli, we'll play the sound bite in a minute. Rick Santelli saying there, there's actually a net loss of 61,000 jobs since Barack Obama took office. Doesn't look like progress to you and me. Now, Arthur Davis, this is clip number six. He's the, he's the African-American, the black guy. He's a Democrat, lifelong Democrat, switched allegiances to the Republican Party. And here's his observation talking to Lou Dobbs last night on the Fox Business Channel. Let's listen. One of the reasons the Democrats are so panicked right now, one of the reasons they're trying to furiously spin every possible tea leaf and discredit every national poll is because they're looking at hard data from the early vote numbers. And in almost every state, they're way behind their early vote numbers. So... Arthur Davis, number to call if you want to join uh, and weigh in on the presidential campaign, 888-589-8840, 888-589-8840. Arthur Davis saying, look, the Democrats are panicked. That's the word that he uses. Uh, Nevada's largest daily newspaper, the Las Vegas Review Journal, which is Mormon-owned. Jeff Reed, producer, told me that this morning, owned by the Mormons. But they came out, they endorsed Barack Obama in 2008. They came out today 
endorsed Mitt Romney, and they called Barack Obama a narcissistic amateur. That's not my word. That's a word of the largest newspaper in the state of Nevada, which Obama leads in, but that's a possible pickup for the Republicans. They refer to him as a narcissistic amateur. Now, 21 newspapers have, in fact, switched their endorsement from Barack Obama in 2008. Not going to make that mistake again. Now, including people leaving the Democratic plantation are African Americans. Here is here is Bishop E.W. Jackson. We played some sound bites from him from some time ago. He's out there saying to black Christians, you got to leave the Democratic Party. He was on Bill O'Reilly's program on Fox News last night uh, talking about the negative impact of the Democratic Party and its policies on the black community. Here's what he had to say. My name is Bishop E.W. Jackson, chairman of Ministers Taking a Stand with a message to Christians in the black community. It is time to end the slavish devotion to the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party has created an unholy alliance between certain so-called civil rights leaders and Planned Parenthood, which has killed unborn black babies by the tens of millions. Planned Parenthood has been far more lethal to black lives than the KKK ever was. And the Democrat Party and their black civil rights allies are partners in this genocide. They say opposition to same-sex marriage is the same as opposition to interracial marriage. That is an insult to human intelligence. It is a lie. No Christian should support this. Yet the Democrat Party has now declared same-sex marriage an official part of its platform. And black Christians remain in that party? The civil rights establishment has embraced the lies and betrayed the black community and God Almighty for 30 pieces of silver from the Democrat Party. We as Christians ought to know better. Shame on us for allowing ourselves to be sold to the highest bidder. We belong to God. That's Bishop E.W. Jackson saying that's an amazing statement that Planned Parenthood has done more damage to the black community than the KKK. Okay, do not forget that that is an African-American bishop, a black bishop, E.W. Jackson. You heard him say it, Planned Parenthood, basically with its genocidal attack on the African-American community, on the black community, has done more damage to blacks than the KKK. 888-589-8840, number to call if you want to join the program, 888-589-8840. And... Uh, uh, Rob, why don't we grab, uh, as a sign of desperation, let's go down and grab clip 14. I've had this in the queue uh, for a long time, virtually for uh, a week. And the reason I wanted to save this and play it, this is a bunch of kids singing. Remember Barack Hussein Obama, mm, 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 back in the campaign? Now here are some, here's a pro-Obama ad. This is put out by uh, the founders of the advertising agents Goodby. They came up with the... Um, uh, the, the, the the milk uh, commercial, you got milk, I think they came up with that, some others well-known. And listen to the lyrics of this song. I'll just read a couple so you can hear it coming. Imagine an America where strip mines are fun and free, where gays can be fixed and sick people just die and oil fills the sea. We haven't killed all the polar bears, but it's not for lack of trying. Big Bird is sacked, the earth is cracked, and the atmosphere is frying. We're the children of the future, American through and through, but something happened to our country, and yeah, Mom and Dad, we are blaming you. Let's listen to the whole song. Imagine an America where strip mines are fun and free, where gays can be fixed and sick people just die, and oil fills the sea. We don't have to pay for freeways. Our schools are good enough. Give us endless wars on foreign shores and lots of Chinese stuff. We're the children of the future, American through and through. But something happened to our country, and we're kind of blaming you. We haven't killed all the polar bears, but it's not for lack of trying. Spending with elections pending, unless it's welfare, no. We're the children of the future, American through and through. But something happened to our country, and we're kind of blaming you. Find a part that is still open, take a breath of poison air. They were closed to place to fill the weapon in space, but you can. 
Mom and Dad, we're blaming you. That's a pro-Obama commercial, an anti-Romney commercial. Uh, you know, uh, my staff was talking to me uh, while we were listening to that song. They look like zombies, not a smile on their faces. Uh, the color is dark. They've been brainwashed, indoctrinated, and it's an anti-family, anti-parent uh, ad. Well, let's go to Lisa in Port Lavaca, Texas. Lisa, welcome to Focal Point with Brian Fisher. What's on your mind? Oh, Mr. Fisher, um, you know... I. You need to come out of the closet and admit that you're an Ayn Rand atheist hiding behind a cardboard cutout of Jesus Christ. You don't even think about what he says. You don't even think about it. You know, I, 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 it just it boggles my mind how you can you defend all these. And not only that, but Romney stole the nomination from Rick Santorum. I don't know why you don't get angry about that. How did he? How did he steal it? Oh, come on. Rick Santorum won Iowa, but it was declared for Romney. And then after all the balloons and confetti fell down, then a few stubborn little Republicans found out that, that, that Santorum had actually won it. And it happened more in more than one primary. And, and with Ron Paul and the caucuses, every, every time a caucus would go for Ron Paul, the, the Republican establishment would say, oh, well, no, 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 that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Well, well let me ask you, guys. We're, we're, we're a little bit short on time here. Uh, I do not think anybody, I don't think anybody stole the nomination. I think Mitt Romney won it fair and square. He wasn't my pick, wasn't my favorite choice. But I don't have any question that the Democratic process will serve. Let me ask you this question, Liza. We're coming up near the break. Are you going to be voting for Barack Obama? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. That's all I needed to know. All right, Liza, listen, appreciate the call. Sorry we're out of time up against a heartbreak. Back in two. Hello, I'm Mike Huckabee. As a Christian, how do you...